Oh, excuse me. Welcome to Lifestyle After Five. I was just on my phone checking my email. Sorry about that. Welcome back to another episode where today, me and my co-host, Lloyd Shu, we're going to talk about the benefits of no phone before 9 a.m. and putting it down after 9 p.m. I know it's going to be hard to live with. Can y'all do that? I'm going to be one that's going to struggle with that as well. I love, first thing I do when I wake up in the morning is I pick up my phone. I want to read my emails. I, I don't know. I want to check Facebook. I, I want to check social media. I want to do everything before I even get out of the bed and brush my teeth. So this is going to be hard for me. And definitely it's the last thing I do when I go to sleep. You know, I go to sleep and I'm reading and I'm catching up on that last minute post. And then I drift off to sleep. How, how are you with that shoe? Uh, honestly, yeah, I'm about, I'm about as bad as that. Uh, I'll be doing Duolingo early in the morning. So when I, I first do that too at up, night. Yeah, that'd be my thing is Duolingo. But that's acceptable. But we're going to get into that a little bit later. Duolingo may be the exception to the rule. <laughs> It's a nonsense task that we do before oh, yeah. 9 a.m. and after 9 a.m. that's not productive. Facebook can wait unless right. you are making yeah. money or got a TikTok money. store. Unless yeah. it's a TikTok store or, or you're making money on Facebook and it's absolutely necessary for life or business, <laughs> you know, your status up there can wait. Yeah. You get who's sweet, sweet. But no, we're going to discuss the benefits today of putting that phone down and how it can make a difference in your life and how it can change how you do everything in your morning routine. So do I mean you like you said you mentioned you have the, the have have this problem. Have you ever thought about not picking your phone up first thing in the morning? Um usually I tried to uh, actually the so the trick that I did was instead of keeping my phone in the room, I took my phone either out of the room and like put it in oh, a totally wow. separate room, or I put it under my bed. So uh, when I my alarm went off in the morning, I would have to go under my bed and grab like do extra work to wake myself up because that was part of my like morning routine. And y'all should watch that episode if you haven't already, where we talk about morning routines because exactly. this kind of like goes hand in hand. But yeah, that that was like my thing because I, I I I'm addicted to social media because it's a part of my job, so I'm always seeing like looking for trends and stuff like that. But I'm I'm just as guilty as the next person when it comes to doom scrolling, where you know you just get caught up in that loop. And you're just like, man, this these but videos could go on forever. <laughs> it's really a problem because you know a lot of Gen Zers and a lot of people out here now suffer with uh, anxiety disorder nervousness yeah. and anxiety and some have attributed uh to mm -hmm. social media well, and actually just being on your phone all the time to anxiety and they're saying that when you use your phone first thing when you wake up it it triggers a, a, a auto response that creates stress throughout your day true so there's actually could be some health benefits to putting that phone down doing something productive Versus just getting in there and just on the go and just on your phone, checking everything every moment, every second. I mean, most people I know they feel like they're going to die if they if they lose their phone. It, yeah, it's like losing a real. kid. I, I was out in the store on Saturday doing some shopping and mm -hmm. this woman comes up to me frantically. Of course, I had my phone in my hand and she's like, can you do me a favor? This is my phone number. Can you call me? I set my phone down somewhere. I don't know where it could be. And I'm calling her number and I'm calling it back to back. And, you know, she was just going through clothes. Like maybe it got in, you know, put it within, uh, mixed in with clothes or whatever. I mean, she's just looking like frantically or whatever and all over the store like she lost a child. Hopefully she found her phone. But I told her yeah. to you know, go see if someone picked it up and turned it in. So hopefully that yeah. lady found her phone. But I know that's almost like missing a pit nowadays pretty much yeah i mean because with the smartphones now they have everything integrated credit cards and all kind of stuff so yeah you basically losing your life out low key when you lose your phone now but um delaying phone use in the morning time you give yourself a chance to naturally wake up practice mindfulness so like you said people you, waking up and using their phone right away and then you're not wearing glasses like these. So now you just like radiation. It's it's so many different mm -hmm. factors health wise that just waking up without it is is refreshing. 
you know, as we spoke a little bit about and alluded to in our last episode of the benefits of waking up early, even the experts say, you know, starting your day off with meditation and light exercise and maybe even a good healthy breakfast can do wonders for your mood and focus. A lot of us have a lot of time, uh, have a hard time focusing. You know, if it ain't on True. the screen, yeah, we, 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 we can't focus, you know. Yeah. A uh, ninety-minute clip, five minutes, whatever, and it, it, it we, we're done. Yeah, well, for so, real, I'm noticing too on TikTok. When uh, have you seen the videos where it's like two or three videos in one, like all in one TikTok reel? Yeah, the part one, the part they get me. I get baited, and that's what gets me late at night. That's when I have to put my <laughs> phone down. To bed. I get into these series and this part one, part two, part three. And then it really pisses me off on TikTok because they should have like a next button where it just automatically moves the video because you got to go down in the little link thing. You got to click it and then you got this guy or go to their page and you got to find the part one. And, you know, I wear glasses. So some of the writing is small and then you got to try to find that part. And sometimes you click on the wrong one. It's, you know, part three when you're looking for part five and it's like, give me a break. TikTok, please do a next button in a or a series button or something, or maybe I'm just old. Huh? You know, I'm Gen X. Nah, bro. Nah, you right. They should make it uh way more accessible. But it's just crazy seeing how there's two different videos in one video playing at the same time, bro. And people are watching. That's how blown mm-hmm. like people's attention span is. They have to literally watch two videos and on top of each other, bro. And you literally what? It's just crazy. So, yeah, I can see how people get anxious and you got to take melatonin and stuff just to go to sleep because their brain is just so wired from watching that stuff. Well, I, I should say they, they said and studies say that, you know, using your phone late at night can't interfere with your sleep. And, you know, you use this pressing and you like you have to take melatonin and things that the just to try to get sleep. But you have to create a, a healthy a, a healthy routine in bedtime. And they were talking about, yeah. you know, that screen interferes with it. And, you know, if you put it down so, and do some activities like come in your mind, you know, take a nice warm bath, mm-hmm. read a book. I don't recommend you turn it on TV either because there there's negative benefits. Might as well be to, the same thing. <laughs> yeah, it, pretty much TV to me is the same thing because they always used to tell us, you don't want to watch television before bed. Matter of fact, some success people, like fact, I remember Oprah in the interview talking about she don't even have a TV in her bedroom. Yeah. You know, bedtime should be for bed. It should be some reading, meditation, getting focused, writing out, as we talked about in the previous episode, planning your next day, putting your thoughts together, reflecting upon the day. Giving your mind and brain time to rest. Yeah. People don't realize that your brain ha- has the rest. It's kind of like when your phone, if you, well, nowadays the, the, the phones are a lot better. But back in the day when you had too many apps on your phone and they were running in the background and you were trying to use another app, it mm-hmm. would just crash your phone. That's kind of how your brain works. Phone. Yeah. That's why, <laughs> exactly. we That's why we stress. We're tired. Well, we can't sleep. Well, you know, we, we, we can't focus. Our brain got too many apps working in the background. You know, some you may have five or six apps working. You're thinking about work. You're thinking about your family. You're thinking about the weekend. You're thinking about bills. So you got all these apps that's actively open. And then in the background, you got so and so unfriended me. Oh, they talking about me. I can't believe they said this. This about me. Oh, so and so don't believe in me. They don't think that I'm good enough. So all of that is running in the background like an app, yep. and it's messing with you. And you have to de, you have to what they call refresh, restart, declutter. Yeah, your mind. Clear the reset. cash. <laughs> Clear the cash. That's that's what I'm looking for. Yep. Clear the cash. But like I said, there is health benefits to this, mm-hmm. and you know. I'm one that, that suffers from uh, anxiety myself, so I'm definitely looking forward. Oh, do it! It's going it's going to take some discipline to do, just like getting up early. But <laughs> the, the combination of getting up early and not using my phone uh, before nine and putting it down at nine p.m. 
there's going to be challenges, but the benefits as I go on this journey, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping it'll be well worth it. Well, we, but we got all of our whole family, bro. Our whole internet family going to be with us. Yeah, y'all got to join us. You know, Like and subscribe with us and join this journey with us yeah. as we got a whole series of things that we're going to do to reinvent ourselves in the next six months. Like I said, we is July. Actually, it's less than six months now because we're already uh, yep. July the seventh month. So we're just about time for the new year, twenty twenty five. We should be ready to go to the next level and see a change. So it's not too late to, to jump on here. You know, by November we'll start doing mind uh, mind maps and uh, vision boards. Yep, prepping for the next year. So y'all stay tuned for those. Stay tuned and, and put uh, all of your experience in the comments. Let us know what's going on. How, how is your journey going? Because we interested in connecting with everybody. As you can see in the corner over here by Ali, the QR code for our Discord, scan that. And you can join it. Yeah, join it. We all in there every day. The whole Lifestyle at the Five crew and some people that you meet that are artists across the world, entrepreneurs across the world. Yeah, it's definitely something you don't want to miss. Now, for those of you that have that are in relationships, married, and have kids, they're saying mm -hmm. re phone reducing your phone use can actually benefit your family life in relationship health. You know, as it's nothing that go out to dinner and you see families, everybody got their phone in their hand and nobody's focused on each other. Try yeah. communicating or playing a board game. I help you connect with your spouse, significant other. Your children, bond with your pet. There's all types of things that you can be doing with that time besides being on the phone. Well, well uh, uh, like, I was like going to say, said, engaging in hobbies can help too. Exactly, and help you plan. There is I, waking up. Uh, if you're getting up early at six o'clock, and like I said, you're have financial things to do that's business i i can understand that you you're being productive with your day you're getting up you're doing some duolingo mm -hmm. you're listening to an audio book that's for, that's productive that's moving your life forward now i would not recommend those things after 9 p.m getting up early if you're going to use your phone to enrich your mind or for basic benefit, uh, for the benefit of self improvement, mm -hmm. then I would say, okay, that's fine, but don't stray away from that. Only necessary, what you have to necessary things. Don't drift over into Facebook or anything else when you should be, you know, listening to that audio book. And but when it comes to being late, nine p.m., that can affect your sleep. So I wouldn't yeah. encourage people to do that. I guess I say in summary, you need to set boundaries with your cell phone. And, you know, 9 p.m. Yeah. And you can adjust these times however you see. Some people may want to go 8, you know, 8, 8 a.m. to 8 p.m. We just set the standard of 9 p.m. to 9 a.m. to 9 p.m. But, you know, you can adjust these however you see fit within that 12 hour window, whatever works for you. Yep. Yeah. The, the, yeah, the benefits I agree are definitely with you on there, that, man. as it reduces stress and it improves your sleep. And like I said, it can enhance your overall quality of life. I really believe in uh, tech, tech detoxes before um, important, even not only just sleeping, but also important events or um, if you got like a test. Because really, like Ali said, if you really... Uh, focusing on specific tasks when you're on your phone, then that's cool. But um, even being on your phone before you got to do like a recital or uh, you got to play piano for the president, you got to think like, how how uh, focused am I really on the task at hand? So I'm just putting that out there. I think it's uh, really important to just have a tech detox an hour before anything important that you have to do in life in general. So that's pretty much all I have to say. Um, as always, I always want to encourage everybody to join us on this journey. Um, like Ali said, we over the hump now. It's pretty much past six months. We we pretty much in the heading into quarter four. It's time to get clutch up. It's time to you know we got we got to win this championship ring. So 
Definitely. Y'all just stay tuned for the next episode. Keep watching and join us on this journey. Um, that's all I got to say. Ali, is anything else you need to say, bro? Well, I mean, that's all for today's episode of Lifestyle After Five. You know, if you found this discussion helpful, please like and subscribe and share your journey with us. And if you got any tips to help us along the way, drop those in the comments. Until next time, yes, we'll please. catch you on the next episode.